We have two fantastic fighters, Ian Jones versus Mick Sinclair. Ultimate Force team captain Ian Jones, one of the most skilled martial artists I have ever had the pleasure of meeting with and training with. Uh, the Mick Sinclair, um, in my eyes, very underrated, doesn't fight as often. Uh, moved over to the Predators gym along with his brother in Manchester, trained by Gab. Um, let's wait and see what happens, let's see if he's still got it. I think this is going to be a war this one, Paul. They, they made a transition, obviously, they spent... Oh, oh lovely nice kick! Nice high kick there. But what a recovery from Ian Jones. I think he was about to kick himself, you know, slightly off balance. And he's working the guillotine after the lift, he's got it in. That was a good execution of the guillotine, because normally they don't let the legs round as tight as that. Oh. He goes to be careful. That is tight. that in? Is that in? It looked like he slightly... Uh, well, he's slightly well, look, if you notice, he's, he's, he's got his knee up against uh, yeah. Ian's leg to stop him. Raising his hips up because you need to raise the hips up to apply the guillotine. I've seen some guys tap just through the arm movement, but when it is it his experience is what Rick is, you need to raise your hips as well as pull down on the guillotine. I, I don't think that's quite in now. Yeah, as Rob Sinclair on the corner shouting at his brother, giving him some advice. It's uh, yeah, he's out, he's out, he's coming out. Nice strong ground. He does look pound. strong, nice doesn't he? Strong ground and pound. And the half guard. He needs to pass that. Ian's a calm fighter, though, you know, he'll not panic. Trying to pull him in, trying to control his head a bit more. What you'll see is, is sometimes the guy in the guard, they'll actually push their own head up against the face of the down fighter. What they're doing is they're controlling his head while he's up against the cage. Yeah, well, it stops the guy from throwing wild punches. Well, yeah, it's, it's the adage of... Um, if you control the head, you control the body. If you control a fighter's head, you'll control the rest of his body. There's not a lot of movement what he can do from there. A little bit there, uh, Ian maybe trying to tie, tie him up there, see if we can get this back up to the feet. Um, he looks quite strong, uh, Rob Sinclair. There. Is it Rob or Mick? Mick Sinclair, Rob in the corner. Sorry, I've seen both fighters there. The both, the both. He and he's back up, he's back up. Sorry, Ian. Yeah, yeah no, both fighters, Rob and Mick. They are brothers, but they do fight alike as well. I've had them both at my gym, and I tell you what, they were both fantastic at leg locks. Very aggressive, though, isn't it? Very yeah, aggressive. Very aggressive. I was actually rolling with both guys, and uh, I had my wrestling shoes on. When I'm actually training, I, I wear my wrestling shoes just more for comfort than anything else. Um, and because they're going for leg locks so much, I ended up taking my shoes off because I thought, there's no way you're going to get me to tap. Oh, beautiful nice. strikes coming in there. You know, I think Ian is uh, he's just maybe weathering the storm a little bit. Let him blow himself out. Nice take down there. That is fast, fast, aggressive movement. How long can this go on for? It's now its turn of Ian Jones on top. Yeah, he needs to get some work done now. Ian switching for the guillotine. So he stood up there. He was, I think he's given an opportunity for him to go back to his back, which is not what I like to see. I like to see Ian use his, uh, his stand-up. He's got some fantastic stand-up. Try to go around the oh, back nice, there, well blocked. Nice defense, beautiful, and the takedown, good. If you noticed why, yeah, Mick didn't stand up there when he had the guillotine because as soon as he stood up, that would have been, he would, he would have been acceptable for a knee to the head. So, oh, Kamura. In a skip. I think again he was using it to change position more than anything else. But um, this is a fast pierce ball, isn't it? I can't, I can't see him keeping this pace up. Very fast, very explosive. I think this is the first play that we've seen throughout the world. <laughs> yeah, Ian using elbows good. We were just seeing earlier, people don't use elbows from the bottom, but Ian's, he's used them well. Like said, might not be concussive, but a cut will do. A little cut. All it takes is approximately one inch from an elbow to hit a, a, an eyebrow or something to, to cut it open. And at these lower weights where there's not a lot of fat on these guys, especially on the face, you know, it's very easy to get a cut. Big home favourite, Ian, as you can tell by the crowd. Always, always brings plenty of support. Yeah, Mick and his uh, brother, they both, um, they used to train with Bisping, they left him, uh, they didn't leave him, it was an agreement. Obviously, Mick is, uh, he's, he's too, he's too uh, full-time training himself now. Yeah, so, getting ready for UFC. Yeah. So, uh, it was an agreement where these guys uh, switched him, but you can see... The ground and pound The ground and pound is fantastic, isn't it? Now, if you could just see the difference between Mick standing up in the guard, see how he's, he, his hips are forward and his legs are back so that the Ian can't grab a hold of the legs. Yes, yeah. Yeah, some of my guys were standing up in the guard and they were standing way too close. 
for him to grab them. Yeah. yeah. But experience. Experience and, uh, and ring craft again. They know the game. Time, Ian should be maybe trying to uh, mind you, he can't stand up. He's not he's not he's not allowed to stand up. But Ian's doing well because every time he's trying to pass the guard, he's, he's re-guarding him. He's switching back into the guard position. Well I don't think a lot of them shots are landing. Yeah, good first round. Good first round then. Wow. He can only go one way. This is what I love about Ultimate Force. Ultimate Force always brings exciting fights. We have never seen a bad fight tonight. And this one is no exception. What a fantastic first round for. Yeah, brilliant first round. Bags of action. Something for everybody. You've got the skill on the ground. You've got the aggressiveness stood up. And the ground and pound skills. Nice kick there for me. Excellent work now. And he's just, uh, I think he wants to try and stay on his feet a bit more now. Moving around a little bit. Moving around a bit more. Both fit guys as well. Nice leg kick. Physiques look the same. Big strong guys. He shaped his arms out a bit tight, do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think he was uh, clinging on for that guillotine maybe a bit too long. You know what it's like yourself, it saps that energy. Yeah. I think he'll get it back in. Just, just uh, you know, stop tensing up a little bit. Shake him off. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Yeah, you'll find some inexperienced fighters uh, hanging on to guillotine, even though it's not on, and they forget that their arms will be heavy as lead when they finish. Yeah, we're back to the clinch now. Beautiful takedown there. Beautiful takedown by Nick. He is a strong guy, isn't he? It's not. It looks easy when you get a body lock like that, but believe you or me, it's not that easy to throw somebody down. That takes a lot, a lot of practice. We're back inside control. Um, He's thinking more about position there, Mick. Now, I'm trying to think that he's maybe tired as well. Because we've, we've seen him in the first round punching away from this position from guard. What's he looking at? Well, he, he, he's, he's sitting reverse. I, I, to be honest, I'm not quite sure. I don't know if he's resting or what, because uh, Ian has him in a, in a headlock. But he's kind of sitting like in a reverse position from side control. Yeah, I think, uh, I think one's waiting for the other to do something here. Now he's... He's round the north and south of 69, as we call it. Now, from here, there's a beautiful setup for the Kimura if, you've got, if, he, if he knows the move. It's one of my favourite positions from 69, setting up for the Kimura. Is he holding on the shots there, Mark? Was happy. Nice, oh, reversal. nice reversal. Now, do you know what? I, believe me or not, but when he was sitting in that reverse position from, uh, from side control, I thought myself, he wants to be careful because he can get rolled over from there because he was leaning too far back over his head. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened. Backside, yeah. I wish I'd said it now. <laughs> would have known what I was talking about. Yeah, now he's got the double on hooks. He's got a nice clinch there. Yeah, defending. Nice oh, roll. roll for the knee bar. Beautiful. Trying to switch the two hold. Uh, and he's got it. He's got a figure four two hold. He needs to twist that two right up on his backside. That would have put his at the leg door. Yeah, his hands are free. Nice turn, though. Nice turn. Summit for everybody. The skill on the floor. Again, Ian, one of our, uh, in fact, he is. He's the most skilled athlete that we have. Awesome display. Patient, like, none of them are slow. It's just being up absolutely. And we're back in there again, where I think um, Mr. Sinclair will have a breather before he starts banging away again. Low, Mick. He's, he's got his head, uh, every now and then it's coming up to his chest. But then he's bringing his head down low. Uh, the, the head needs to be around about the solar plex stomach area when you're wrestling in the guard. You've got to be very careful. He's got it high there, but there. now he's back down. When he comes high, so that's the perfect position, low below the chest. When he comes high, he's coming high and controlling Ian's head with his head. 
but when it when he is resting properly he's bringing it lower down to the stomach solar plex area both having a little bit of a show of appreciation there and a, a little bit of a breather now he's reacting again to the uh, Back to the, ground, the referee's right. comments of uh, pick it up again and again this is more of a resting sort of situation as well isn't it would you rest after this? Uh, certainly, certainly would <laughs> A little bit rushed there, a little yeah, bit rushed be in. Be careful, and he felt the triangle. Ian working well from guard. I see Nick pushing him back towards the cage. Towards the cage, yeah, towards his own uh, corner as well. I think Ian trying to uh, occupy his mind while he tries something else, but like you say, it's very difficult, especially at this stage. I mean, look at the sweat on the pair of them as well. Everyone's controlling the wrist as well. Yeah, you can see why Nick's pushing him back, because uh, he's robbing the corner, shouting advice. And it is, it's good to hear you, corner man. It is, yeah. No matter definitely. how good you think you are in there, it's nice to hear corner man shout out moves. They can also get a second pair of eyes for you. They can see what your, your opponent's doing before you can. I think we've got one of the uh, the uh, girlfriend or, or certainly a friend of uh, Mr. Sinclair. They're shouting encouragement as well. I think that's uh, you know, the popularity of the sport now. I've, I've said it before, I've got my own wife shouting for triangles and guillotines and arm bars. Everyone's, Everyone's getting to know what the rules are. Good use of the head, but you know, I think, the, I think the referee should be watching that there. There is a fine line between controlling with the head and slightly headbutting with the head. And rubbing as well, you know, weakening the skin. Nice elbow stand there. End of the round again. Fantastic, oh, fantastic course. fight. That is close. I'm pleased I'm not a judge. judging this one but this is the third and final round um, who's on the cards for you isn't it? it's tough to call I'm always going with our uh, with our hometown boy Ian um, it's a hard fight it's a hard fight what's your call on this well I guess it, to be honest it, it, it's very very close it's very close I mean both fighters tired here both yeah. fighters and the thing is when we're sitting here and we're commenting and obviously we're watching the fight but we're not watching from a judge's point of view so you know, there could be an Oh, nice good 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 defense. defense. That was perfect defense. Beautiful trap of the leg. That, wow, that was perfect. How do they think so quick as well is amazing. I think, I just think Ian's got to pick it up now in this round and, uh, and dominate a bit now. Um, obviously, Nick's holding back again. It's impressive, isn't it? Yeah, it's strong. Now I know why they call him the English Bolt area. He, he favours that clinch and the clinch has been working well for him. Turning back in, it's great, great display. Ian knows on the oh, oh, beautiful nice knee. knee. That could have cut. That was a beautiful knee. He's very lucky not to get away with a cut there. Do you know he's clearing his head there. I think he's felt that. But Ian now dominating. He's got the double underhooks. He's clinched against the cage. He's working for that takedown. But Ian's took a hand out ready to strike. I think. Try not to see a knee again. Yeah, needs to separate and get that knee working again. Well, Nick's head must be clean because he's now coming back in with the action. We're going to tie clinch. Has he hurt, has he hurt himself there? He seemed to fall back because I think he might have twisted his ankle or something. Well, it was a little stumble. Oh, that's nice. Very close. Both fighters, they, they have the utmost respect, don't they? They're both, uh, they've both put a lot into this. They're both tired. Nice, and again, come on. Pick it up now. Ian shaking his arm out again now. Just wondering if that uh, guillotine did have some effect on his arms. He, he looks heavy arm, good, doesn't he? he his, uh, his arms are low. Both fighters, though, they're both tired. It's, 
been no stop. But who can blame him? Ten minutes of pure action in the last two rounds. Do you know when, um, I mean, you'll have done this yourself, you do self-defence seminars up and down the country, I've done them myself, and you know it's, oh yeah, there's <laughs> Neil Wayne in the corner again, fighting harder than the fighters there. Um, you know yourself, if, we, if there's idiots on the street, you know a fight lasts seconds. These guys are going at it for like 10 or 15 minutes in. It seems like a lifetime. Um, I mean, you, 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 like I say, you get people who want to be fighters, they try to be fighters, they get in the ring and, you know, they talk, they talk but they never walk the wall because the training is too hard, never mind getting there during the fight. Oh, nice kick. Oh, beautiful nice kick, kick there. Now, Ian's not doing good in the ju judge's eyes because he's, he's moving around, you know. Does he think he's won the first two rounds? Maybe that's why he's walking around or, or sidestepping? Do you know what? I'd, uh, I think he's hurt his arm. I think there's something not there. You know, he's moving around a lot. He's, um, I mean, he, he, his ultimate fit, you know, his fitness is, is the ultimate. He's, uh, there's never a problem with his cardio. Um, nice kick, nice kick. Yeah, take it overhand, come in the way kick. You know, he lives like a professional, he trains like a professional, as, as well as uh, holding down a full-time job, like like a lot of the uh, pro fighters today, you know, but he's... Uh, no, just with him going sidestep, and I thought maybe he's a big thing, he's won the first two rounds, and he can afford to just be out of trouble in his third round. I think he's just wanted to pick his shots, you know. Nice, nice inside leg. But Nick Sinclair, he's doing the stalking, he's, he's following Ian around the ring. I mean, it's... Uh, this third round, nice kick. Slightly reminiscent of the uh, Matt Hamill Bispin fight, you know, Bispin going Back backwards and uh, and picking his shots. Now there seemed to be uh, a little bit more life in the pair of them towards the end. They know, they know it's a close fight. Had the breather. Yeah. They had the breather. They, 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 they need to start coming back into the action now. Maybe they want to leave it for the last minute. Yeah, you want to dominate for the last minute, it'll be, it's always on the judge's eyes and the judge's mind. Well, the corner men will have the stopwatches, they'll know when it's coming up and they'll be shouting, so uh, I expect um, a few shouts in a minute and an upper pace towards the end. You know, I must say we've got a fantastic turnout tonight, it's the World Cup final as well, and who would have thought England would have got in the final, eh? Yeah, but uh, like you say, wow, nearly a sellout crowd in, in for... England to be live, rugby on the TV, and the still a stellar crowd. That, that just proved Ultimate Force one of the best, if not the best event in the UK. Fantastic, always a great atmosphere. I love working on Ultimate Force. The crowd is always behind the fighters. And he's uh, going back to this fight, Ian, you know. Ian Jones is one of them guys, I say, let's look, oh, fantastic, look at that, show of appreciation, both smiling, hard fight. He never wants, uh, he always wants to challenge Ian. Well, it's up, certainly to got one tonight. it's up to the judges, three rounds, let's see who wins. Play. Me! <laughs> 